another infected broodmother takedown what is up and welcome to another video and this one here today we're going to be going over the new and improved strategy on how to kill the infected broodmother so y'all can rack up as many kills as i have if you guys want your boss chest to look like this then follow all these steps one of the first things i recommend is the ladybug armor sleek of course upgraded to at least level seven or level eight you're gonna want these mutations coup de grass blade master parry master trapper peeper and corporate kickback you're also gonna want a fresh toenail scimitar or anything fresh as the infected broodmother is weak against fresh i would personally recommend using the fire ant shield as the fire ant shield is good at reducing her defense or any bugs defense that you're fighting against for that matter and you can honestly switch up the trinket to whatever you want, Thor's Pendant, or you can use the Fungal Charm or the Shield Solidifier. If you're going to fight her drinking the water, I would strongly recommend using the Shield Solidifier because she breaks through your block in like 3 to 4, 4 to 5 hits if you are drinking the water. I like to do phase 1 and 2 drinking the water, but that's just me because it makes it go by super fast. But if you're going to do that, I'd recommend using the Shield Solidifier. We did it last night on stream without the Shield Solidifier, just using Thor's Pendant. There's a bunch of different ways that you can do this, but I'm going to be showing you the exact way that you want to do this. So for this video, I'm just going to be bringing this stuff right here, as you guys can see. So for this guide, this is exactly what you want. You want your character to look like this. Alrighty, here we are, back at the throne room. So I'm not going to do this fight using the infected stuffed infected broomother because I'm going to make this guide basically solely for the people that have not beat her. So I'm not going to use the infected the stuffed, and I'm not going to use that for damage. I'm just going in completely naked with my food and my gear i forgot my heels at the freaking base oh my goodness i said i went all the way there without my heels but i have my heels what i don't have is my liquid rage so for each broodmother fight you do not need more than three liquid rages you can bring four if you would like i normally bring three or four all right and we're back so no stuffed and no mount you're gonna want a meal I'm going to eat my meal. And you are going to want to have everything you're going to want to use on your hotbar right here at the end. So we're going to go in and I'm going to show you guys the best way to defeat the infected broodmother for any new player. Of course, it's going to take some grinding to get your armor and weapons up to come into this fight. But once you have your armor and your weapons upgraded, toenail scimitar and lady la ladybug armor like I was saying, fight should look something like this. Fifty two is to be a fifty number fifty three. So you want to keep her out of the water as much as possible. If you can keep her right here, it's perfect. If you can keep her on this side of the arena, it's perfect. Just gonna keep chopping away at her. I forgot to drink the water. There we go. Don't drink the water if you are not familiar with this fight. If you drink the water, you get negative damage resistance and you block less. Look at how easy she breaks my block here. She broke my block because I drank the water. That's what I was referencing about the shield solidifier. The shield solidifier can really help you in this situation because it gives your shield a little bit more defense. So it's easy one phase. The effects from the water last one minute. You just come over here when the bombs drop, right here. Safe spot. Wait for her to come to you. Wait for the bombs to blow up. And you keep her back to this wall. Keep her back to the entrance at all costs. She's going to try to get in the water. If she goes to the water and you can't get her out, just run back here. You do not want to fight her when she's in the water. She gets lifesteal. A bunch of other things. Oh my god, she's coming for me. Perfect. That's exactly what you want her to do right there. Yeah, she gets lifesteal infection and more critical hit chance if she steps in the water. So you want to keep her out of the water at all costs. I also wouldn't recommend chasing her too much. Try to keep the pressure up, but don't chase her too much. Just try to keep her right here in this corner. Okay, and she's gonna push you. When she pushes you, you push back. 
Keep pushing back. Okay, you cheeky little bugger. I would also practice getting familiar with all the sounds that she makes. Simply because if she, if you can't see her, you're gonna need to know the sounds that she makes when she when she's doing these attacks. It will not come immediately, and it's actually hard to tell what she's doing at some points. I still don't understand some of the attacks that she's doing with her noises. That's a roar right there, though. Once you start hearing that gurgle, that's a roar. You, you want to block that, if anything. It is possible to just hold the block on the roar. You do not need to perfect block the roar. That's a jump. So she's going to jump at me. And boom. We are now on the third phase. With the rage, if you got it, then you want to push her out of the water. Keep her out of the water at all costs. You can just hold block those flurry attacks. Always hold block if you cannot perfect block. Okay, if she goes that way, you want to come this way. You want to try to bait her into this corner as much as possible. Ow. The ladybug armor and the corporate kickback should give you decent lifesteal to keep you in the fight, if, even if not using any smoothies. I like the ladybird ar the ladybug armor simply because of the healing. If she gets a roar, then you're you're in some trouble. You want to make sure that you keep your blade master on her because that's going to keep her damage down. This is a very interesting fight, I will say that. Just hold the block if you cannot perfect block. No bomb, please. You gotta be very careful with that bomb as well. Use a smoothie if you're getting kind of doubtful. Get used to her little, like, whoosh attacks. Broke my block, bro. Keep her out of the water at all costs. If she's in the water and she roars, you do not want that. She will get automatic life steal even if you block her roar and she's in the water. So you want to keep her out of the water at all costs. You want to put yourself between her and the water. Ooh, look at the corporate kickback kicking in, baby. Let's go. Perfect. Stay out of the water. Again, it is possible to hold the block on these, and if you're using the shield solidifier, it even goes better. Keep her out of the water. Just keep her out of the water. You can keep her right in this area right here. It's probably the easiest place to fight her. Another spot that's really good, too. You can pull over here to the high ground. You can stand right here. Using all these tips that I gave you, we'll give you a win just like that. So just to recap, try to keep her here, and if she's not here, try to stand over here on this elevated piece of ground that's up here because bombs also do not drop here. So they don't drop there, and they do not drop here. But if you utilize all these tips, you should definitely be able to get the win, even if you're a new player. Put on your dissection expert before looting her, take the parts, and bada bing, bada boom, you have yourself another infected broodmother takedown. So again, I am aware that this fight isn't easy, okay? I know that it's not easy, and it's actually what I would consider to be the first piece of end game content that we have in this game. You need to be prepared. I would definitely recommend bringing a stack of healing smoothies and liquid rages for damage. Once you get the fight under your belt a couple times, then you will have the ability to make these stuffed infected broodmothers, and you will have the ability to make these stuffed mounts, which gives you more damage and more loot luck, so you'll be able to rake in all the loot and have more damage during the fight. So if this video helped you guys, and if you guys are finding success using the tips that are here that I showed you today, Make sure you hit that like button for your boy. 
Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out.